Hello people, I'm Sosastic and today I wanted to come back on my first video, The Lion King Family Tree. In this story, I was sharing my own point of view about how I see The Lion King Family Tree. And a lot of people have told me that I forgot one character, Copa. So I wanted to make a special video about this lion explaining you why I haven't told about him. So let's get started now. If you are a huge fan of The Lion King, you probably know about Coppa. But if you like the movie, not as a big fan, I don't think you know about Coppa. Coppa is Simba and Nala's son. But why don't we see him in the movie The Lion King 2? Let's come back on the whole Lion King franchise. After the first movie, two branches have been created. They are called the official branch and the unofficial branch. In the official branch, we can find the Lion King 2, the Lion King 1 and half or 3, and the Lion World. The Lion World is a series of episodes about Kion, Simba and Nala's son. In the unofficial branch, we can find the sixth new adventure where we actually meet Coppa. Would that mean that Coppa is unofficial? Maybe or maybe not. It's your own decision but he is actually considered as an unofficial character. So if I haven't talked about Coppa, it was actually pretty on purpose, since I knew that Coppa was in the unofficial branch and that Kayon was in the official branch, I have been thinking that maybe Coppa have been remade and added in the official branch under Kion name. Look, same letter and four letters in both names. So in my opinion, Koppa is somehow Kion. This is why I haven't talked about him in my theory and why I was working on this video. I found out that Kion is an inspiration of Koppa, what confirmed my first thought. Okay, let's begin with Google. When I write the Lion King an official branch, this is what I find first. And as you can see here, we can read an official character on Copa. Let's continue with the Lion King Wikia on Copa's page. When you scroll down, you can find this. Keep scrolling down and it brings you to this. And when you click on an official character, it drives you to a list of an official character where you can find a lot of characters like Mohatu or Uru. One last thing I can give you as a proof is this. On a French website devoted to movies, we can find an article about things we don't know about the Lion King. When you click on Simba got a son, hear what it say. As you can see, they say Kayan. And they actually say that Simba's son is Kion and he is in the lion world. Well, it's complicated, I think, because Copa exists since years now and Kion is all fresh. So a lot of people would say that Copa is as official as Kion. But let's have a better look on the two lions. Copa. Kion, as I already said, the names are pretty similar. Four letters, two similar letters, the same first letter. Now, let's move on their personalities. Kion and Kopa are both adventurers. They both want to protect the Pride Rock from danger. If you look at their appearance, you can see they both look like Simba but they also have a lot of resemblance with Mufasa. It says, while Simba is more rounded in appearance, Kion and Koppa are robust and block-like, with a square jaw and pronounced chest. They pretty look alike, to be honest. So again, this is why I think Koppa is Kion remake form. 
If I brought evidences on the fact that Coppa is considered as an unofficial character, and if I compare the two lions, it's just to make you understand why I haven't talked about him and why I link him to Kayan. Of course, once again, it's what I think, and until Disney confirm what I say, all this will stay at the theory. I hope you enjoyed this video, that you learn a bit more about Coppa and I really hope you understood my point of view. Don't forget to like this video, to subscribe and to like my Facebook page. Stay safe and see you in my next video.